Hello there everyone and welcome back to Better Than Wolves. We are back in our slime farm and as you can see I spent a little time on it off camera today. Oh crap and things are on fire which is not good. Of course they're on fire. I forgot to uh, fireproof the uh, gearbox which is not good at all. Darn it. Darn it fire. You annoy me. Um, yeah I spent a little tiny bit of off camera time on this. Whoops. Apparently that lava is still just a little close to be safe, but that should do it now. Everything else has got no air around it, so we should be good on that front. So, oh, there's an overhang. So where are we at? Okay, what I've done, I entered the water, which uh, I siphoned the water off of this stream right here which is obviously still working just fine for running the water wheel. The water comes in. It took just a little fussing around to get it exactly where I wanted, so i got to be careful not to turn the water off here. This corner's a bit off. I don't know that there's anything I can really do about it, short of um, dropping the... Th I Yeah, I didn't really leave myself a lot of recourse with the design I used, so for the moment we're just going to have to deal with it. I might tweak things around a bit if I feel inclined later. But it works. I had a few slimes come down and go into this uh, spot right here. And the important thing is, oh crap, um, everything flows straight into the... It's a good thing these are silk touch, huh? There we go. Everything flows straight into the uh, saws there without any incident. And from there, it goes into a small collection system right here, which I've already collected things out of. And this is designed for rails, which one of them is currently in the block dispenser and one of them is currently in my inventory. And we need a detector block here. And we need something that's gonna trigger the launch. I may actually trigger it up to the same timer that's controlling everything else here, because. The recycle time here is plenty long enough. Because, I mean, it's the cycle time is based around this, and it's, it is going to be loaded onto the onto here as well, which is actually something we're going to have to deal with soon, is getting our second and third minecarts onto the... Uh, onto here. Oh, crap. Well... All right, get back in there, please. Thank you. There we go. So yeah, the Dung Farm's working. I don't hear any crazy dogs up in there yet, so hopefully that will remain the case. I do kind of need to replace that. Sand is not an ideal subsurface material here. Yeah, one of the reasons things might look a little odd is I had a bit of a water-based disaster here and it took a little doing to clean it up. There we go. All right, so we need to figure out how to control this right here. I believe I left some redstone around here somewhere. There it is. Let's do a quick little test here. Just confirm that it's as easy as running a redstone signal in right there. Yes, it is. But that's not producing, that's not powering it. Oh, oh dear. Is that going to really not work the way I want it to? Ooh, bedrock, you're going to mess me up, aren't you? Um, let's see. If I can get... Oh dear, this is going to be actually a little dangerous. Let's see. All right, we'll take this out. So we might need to be able to get through there. Oh, there's no way in under there. Is there a way in? Under... No, there isn't. Darn. Um, hmm. Hmm. I need power. I can work with that, but that's not going to help because that's where the detector has to go. Hmm. So there's one downside to of putting me putting it as low as I did. Let's see, is there any other way I could do this? I could. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I could. 
Where is the control? Why is that one not running? That should be running. Oh, okay, maybe I do need to re reorient this. Oh, okay, yeah, that is a problem. Because we want that to stay on. I think, yeah, that's the saw. We don't want the, the saw shutting down. That would be bad. Okay, I think I need to rejigger this. No. I haven't exactly figured out what I want to do today yet, so this will... Yeah, that's fine. All right. No, that's not... Yes, that is fine. That is the one... Except for the fact that that's not the one I want to use anymore. So let's get rid of all this. Okay, grab all the bits and bobs. We're going to rejig this so that it will work. If we are lucky. I think I heard a dog poop. A doggy made a poop. Okay. See what other kind of space we got here. Okay, we do not have... <sighs> yes, we can. We can do this. Uh-oh. Okay, that there. Those two there. That'll keep the fires from lighting. And burning all the wonderful things up that I've built. In fact, let's just be smart about this. Okay. So what we are doing is we are designing for... There we are. We are designing a system. We need to power this hopper. Okay, so what we've done now is we can now place that track and power it, I believe. Oh, crap. Wait, hold on. That's coming in from the wrong direction, isn't it? Okay, let's try this. How are we, how, okay, how are we powering these things? We're powering them from behind. Okay, the power goes straight into the back of that. Oh, if that was a normal block, I'd be set here. Okay, let's see. Is that going to power the rail? No, it's not. Why? It's worked every other time. Okay, hold on. Short of this being full, well, if that's full, it will create a signal. And that would be bad. And that will cause us grief, unless I use a repeater. I could use a... but a repeater won't... Ooh. But if this thing is full, I want the track... No, but if the track's out, then it starts... No, yes, no, it'll start dumping stuff, and that'll mess everything up, too. So it needs to not interact with the hopper, but... So it does need to go straight through the back. How can we do this? We could... What if we put it right here, put a redstone right there, and then put a torch above it? That powers that, but does it power the... Yes, it does. Okay. So this will be our control. Perfect. We got it. So the power needs to come into this block right here. So we actually need an inverter involved in this, which can go right here because it's going to be powered on the same signal cycle as this right here. So when this is on, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Now we just need to slab over that so I don't fall into it. Okay, next step. Now we need, now that we've got that in place, now that that is done, we need to get Uh, and this is going to go right here, and it should connect up just fine. Now we can now we can apply power to it without causing any issues. And actually, hold on. Where's the? Should be a gearbox right here. Yes, there is. Okay, that works perfectly. Because that one is not supposed to be turned off. Okay. And then, that's the one we need to turn off. 
So right here, there will be a detector block. Now let's see, the detector block is powering, powering the axle when it sees nothing. So we need a torch here. That torch needs to go Almost perfect. Okay, and then we go there. Okay, is that sh Okay, that is off, isn't it? And then if I break this torch right here, it's powered. Okay, wow, that works. I'm actually kind of surprised that works. Who knew? And that should be more than enough to get it up two ticks of slope. So we'll just put this up here. It'll make everything much simpler. Okay, that is that. Everything except for the detector block, which we'll build later. Slime Farm also... Okay, we don't need those two axles anymore. Also on the list for later is the Slime Farm. At this stage, with a reliable, renewable source of dung, which was pretty important, we now need to build the other half of this system. See, there's still something missing from this... There, well, there's several things missing still, because we still have to make the... We need to figure out how we're going to unload this minecart. That is something I do not have an answer to as of yet. How do we get that minecart to now launch? In all of my planning and preparation, this is actually the one thing I have not figured out. And that's what we need to figure out today, because it really, this, this whole minecart elevator thing has become a very, very critical part of my factory design. So first question would be, does that make it launch? Yes, it does. Okay, so we can launch it from above. All right, but we don't want it to launch any old time, and that is going to make launching one from here a little bit of pain, isn't it? Yeah. Is there anything I can do about that? Could move this thing back that way a little and move the axles back appropriately as well. Actually, you could probably do it without even shutting the full thing down. Let's just be a little less. So that'll be a full three right there. And then we go one there, one there, put that there. Whoops. And that is what happens when you create a loop, an axle loop, right? Yep. You get a boom. As the power shears it apart from trying to turn in two different directions at the same time. Okay. Now then this is a finite state machine. It just needs to be ooh, carefully reorientated. See, it really just needs to be rotated the other way around, doesn't it? Good news is the timing is not dependent. It needs one of these and one of these and one of these. Okay, that should have turned it off. It didn't because that right there, didn't it? No. All right, why did that work properly before and doesn't work now? Okay, and one more time. 
There we go. That's the way it's supposed to work. Okay, good. And that's all we need to do with that, because now we have room to sneak a redstone launcher in here. Now then, this launcher needs to go through. This is the hard part. I think we're going to have to put this in the roof. How much space do I have overhead anyways? If I have a handful of blocks, I'll be good. Three? Three should be enough. Because this needs to be tied into the detector. The uh, So it needs to take a signal from here. We need to send a signal vertically. We need torches, which means we need... things that are in the basement. See, because from here, those things are going to go to unloaders that are then going to dump items into storage hoppers up here on the surface. Because um, then I don't have to come all the way down here to collect items. That's sort of a part and parcel of the long-term design of this whole place, is I don't have to come to the basement every time I need stuff. Everything will be delivered to the surface. Grab the hoppers too. That should be enough. Okay, going up. So, we need something like the system in the basement, and we might as well design something that will launch all four of these things without incident. There's really no reason not to. Okay. So we're going to need a monostable circuit, because we want the launching portion of the cycle to be a pulse. And we want the... Uh... So we're going to need, for this to work the way we want it to, we need four of these. That one can go there without issue. This one can go here without issue. It's this last one. It's going to require a bit of a tricksy design, and I think what we'll do is we will bring it over here like that. Is that in the right spot? Yes, it is. Okay. So one goes there, one goes here, and one goes there. And those will affect the four rails that are going to be centered on the cart on this elevator. And so we're going to have minecart track coming out through here, through here, through here. And the hardest of the four is going to come out through U, two, three, four, five, seven. Like that. Okay. There we are. Four departure rails assigned. Now for the for our next trick, we need a monostable circuit. And that monostable circuit will have to be up a little higher. And very carefully placed so as to not create a clock. And that's actually something we're gonna have to be careful about. We want to put the monostable above where the signal comes in. Because this system is also going to tell carts that they're allowed to load. So we need that same loading, that unloading cycle that we have here or down there. So we'll have to have a holding track that things can sit in. Okay. So if we put. Hmm, how are we going to do this? Torch right... No, if we do that, we're not going to have enough room. So we need to actually bring this circuit, this signal, I should say, back up over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll bring it... We'll put this slab back down, because it's nothing but annoying. We'll put a redstone right there which we will then cut off right here so that it goes in a straight line into there and then up to here. And now we can build our monostable circuit up a floor, which is going to be on this level right here. Because it's going to receive a pulse and that pulse is going to say, hey, it's time to go. So since there's only going to be one minecart on each cycle, um, we don't need to worry about 
what we, what you would call error checking. Okay, so how are we going to get a signal into each of these? Well, we're going to have to bring it down onto the top like so. I'll put one on top like that. Man, that thing's already almost dying. That actually brings about another quest I want to do, my quest for efficiency. I want an efficiency scroll. I really, really do. And somehow we're going to have to figure out how to get that uh, thing working. Okay, so there's the input line for those two. Those ones will be easy enough to hook up. Now we just need to make room for a monostable circuit attached up right there. Yeah, monostables. For those of you who don't remember, create a short pulse. And that short pulse means it'll just be enough to launch the mine carts and nothing more. Okay, where's the IA signal elevator? And we are currently should be in the off state. Yes, we are. Good. All right, let's put that right there. And get this just in case I decide I need it someday. All right, so it comes up on top like that. And there's our output. Now I need more sticks. Fortunately, I have a factory that produces them in stupid quantities. I probably also have some in the boxes right there, but I have a factory that produces them in stupid quantities, along with, ooh, we need to reload the all-important rotten flesh box, because that's the stuff that keeps running out on us. Of course, didn't leave myself any room for sticks, did I? Nope. All right, we'll just dump the hemp fibers for now. No, the sawdust. Need the sawdust a lot less. We really need to unload a few things. Inventory management is a bit of a problem. Yeah, check that out. Look at the goodies we've got now. Okay, nothing. Guys, we're gonna need another box, aren't we? My gosh, okay. All right, that'll do for now. Let's get rid of this. into the water with you, because this is where you go. Enough to make another batch of kibble. We'll have to check on everything else in a little while too, but... Haven't been paying too much attention to that one to see if it's actually showing up or not, but... Okay, what did I come... Sticks, that's right. Okay, redstone, torches, so it goes torch, redstone, peter, full length repeater, and there we go, redstone torch is inverted and off, and we'll create our lovely, lovely short pulse. And then that will be brought into those. So that pulses those two. And we can actually just bring it around on top of this level right here, because there's no need for me to be able to access that spot directly anymore. I don't really need to be able to get on the elevator, although it would be nice to have one point of access, which we'll put right there. There we go. Here it comes. Ooh. Okay. All right. We'll just leave that right there. It'll be fine. We'll get it into the return cycle here in just a moment. Or we'll build a return cycle, I should say. There, put that there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's because of this. Whoops. Okay, be careful. Uh, again, a completely unnecessary block now. I don't remember what that was there for, but I don't think it's needed anymore. Good. Okay. So that's our departure. That's our um, unloading cycle. Now for the loading cycle, we need a slightly slower... Well, let's just get one, build one loop. Do we have any gold? We have tons of gold. 
Did we leave any of it here? Because I took it. Oh, oh, I have, I have tracks, even better. Okay. So we need to build a little test loop here. So... We want something that will load the carts back onto the rail line. Hold on. That was supposed to create a... Mono... Oh, crap, it's supposed to be inverted. Right, of course. We need it uh, pulse off. Or we need it off. We need it to pulse on, not be always on. That was close. Considering we're not to the stage where it's mission critical yet. Um, there. Now those torches are off by default, and they will give us a quick pulse to turn the minecart on. Now for the return cycle. Return cycle was actually pretty easy. That pulse... That same pulse just needs to go from here over to wherever the launch track is, but it needs to be delayed. So wherever this thing is stored, we're coming from. Because this is unloading up here, not loading now. So part of the cycle is going to involve... Eventually, we don't have to worry about... We just need somewhere for them to wait. And waiting just needs to happen on a slope like this. All right. So just move over just a little. There we go. So it's going to come up and over, and it's going to wait on that slope right there. Just as an example. This, this is probably not the final configuration. But we need it to basically wait the length of the pulse for it to turn off. And then, but it needs to be not too much longer because it needs to re get there in time to load the minecart onto the system. So if we use the same design principle here, we put an overhead redstone torch right here. Can't power it. Okay. Obviously going to have to be a little bit further down which really is just putting us into the point where it really just needs to be right beside it. So if that can power it, if being the sort of requisite word there, yeah, so for these we're going to need them, they need to go into a waiting room. This is the waiting room we're building right now. And then we're going to have to go melt this thing down, and then we're going to be ready to go on to the next episode, because this has actually been a very... So we'll give it a four tick delay, and then in, and then inverted. Yes, it does need to be inverted, doesn't it? Because we need to pulse this on after we pulse the other one off. Or no, it still needs to be, yeah, right, this is going to be, yeah, no, this will work. We'll just move it back a little. Okay, let's just get this back on rail here. Kitchy on the tracks. There we go. Okay. So we're going to power it right here. And it's going to be powered by a redstone cable right here. Oh, I'm going to be... I'm, I'm quite hungry. And then there is a chunk of rail right there. Now it is going to be a loop, isn't it? There's my trail. So it does need to go around and come back onto that. Give me some light. So we need to make sure that the part that puts it back on the track will send it in the right direction. Okay. If we just... Uh, do that and it's just going to push it down and then back up and off onto that rail there. Let's see if it start keeps going in the right direction. There we go. 
see what happens when that thing comes back up here. And really need to be not standing. Whoa! Oh. Okay, that didn't launch. I'm concerned that it's because it's in the wrong location or that it didn't activate properly. Well, there's one way to find out. Reverse the cycle. Bring it back up. See what happens. I might just need to give it a little push further onto its uh, rail there. Because I don't think it's quite in the right location. Okay, let's do one more invert cycle here. Oh, 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 it's coming too soon. <laughs> the thing hasn't finished stopping yet. Okay. Also means we need to delay the actual being on top bit a bit more, doesn't it? Because it hasn't quite finished stopping yet, which means it's not a fixed entity yet. Okay, try again. Reverse. Okay, so now this thing should actually launch. We haven't gotten here too, haven't got this set up too soon, so we're gonna have to make the whole business of this thing. All right, that worked. Good. All right, not quite enough power on that yet, but we can fix that. Powered rail right here, temporarily. Okay, testing again. Return cycle, come on up. I mean, seriously, come on up. Now, in theory, this thing should just be able to jump straight off the edge and into the spot where it needs to be. Shouldn't even be an issue if it overshoots. It just needs to work, that's all. And it works. Okay, guys, there we are. So there's our basic rail return system. And this will ensure that it goes in the right direction no matter what the situation. It'll avoid that old east west north rule or whatever it is when carts go onto tracks. I used it down there but it really isn't entirely reliable. Okay, that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.